So I think if there's any beginner designer who is now using Jenny AI tools in their first early three years of their career, please note that whatever you get from AI should be your baseline and not the finish line. Which means that whatever you get from an AI output, that should be the first draft and then you need to use your human intelligence to sort of build on top of it. And if as a beginner designer you end up using AI outputs as your final draft, there are two things that will happen. One is that you will not know the entire A to Z process. So everything that you build, even if it's an incredible design system, the day something breaks, it's like a black box for you. You will have no idea how to fix it, how to scale it, how to have different variations. Because if you want to scale something, if you want to debug something, you need to know how it works. And people who have built something truly know how it works. But when you prompt something, you have no idea about the styles and the variants and the variables and how is it named, what is underscore B, what is underscore C. So that is part number one. The second advice I would give you is to start reading and writing more. Uh, and there's this tech talk on YouTube I would recommend everyone. It's called Intellectual Obesity which talks about the fact that when sugar and fat became extremely accessible, we had an obesity crisis because our brains would always find a convenient path moving forward. With AI coming in, if you don't exercise your own creative muscles and brainstorming skills and the ability to connect with other people, there is a high chance you might get under intellectual obesity.